What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and today we're going to talk about another video game movie that's going to suck donkey balls. That's right guys. They're making another video game movie based on a video game that's going to be a movie based on terrible shit. It's going to suck. Just like the rest of them. Just like the rest of them. <laughs> I can't stand this crap. What's the last good video game movie? Assassin's Creed looks like it actually might be pretty good. It looks like it might be. But if, if history is an indication, you know, go in that movie theater with a barf bag and get ready to throw it because they just don't know how to do it right. They just don't. Part of me is really excited that the Last of Us film is in development hell, you know? I mean, what's the last really good video game movie? All of them suck. And now a beloved actor, Jake Gyllenhaal, is signed on to play the lead role in the upcoming, get ready, Division film. That's right. I'll drop a link in the description. Jake Gyllenhaal to star an upcoming film based on popular video game, The Division. Video game based movies are generally a hit or miss, and usually the latter. Something about an amazing user controlled gaming experience doesn't translate as well as expected when bought to the big screen. Game development company Ubisoft will try and ride the tides of their record breaking sales by bringing its video game The Division to the big screen, and they have cast their leading man. According to Variety, Jake Gyllenhaal is attached to the upcoming film as both producer and the film star. This would be his second video game based film role, following the critically panned Prince of Persia, Sands of Time back in 2010, which is also an Ubisoft property. Oh god, this is looking really bad. The Division has become Ubisoft's fastest selling product accruing $330 million, only five days after its March 8, 2016 release. The third person shooter takes place in a post-apocalyptic New York following the outbreak of smallpox. Gamers control a customized agent of the strategic homeland Division, also known as The Division, whose mission is to restore the task force base of operations in Manhattan, eliminate criminal activity, allowing the pandemic, and investigate the source of the outbreak. Ubisoft is also bringing several other titles to the silver screen such as Assassin's Creed which will star Michael Fassbender as well as Splinter Cell starring Tom Hardy. Uh, Tom Hardy's the man. Uh, I don't care what he's in. He'll make it good. He would be a good Pinocchio. That guy's such a good actor. But I don't know man. Uh, to be honest Assassin's Creed the trailer looked like it could be a good film. Uh, Fassbender's a good actor. Uh, as long as they got somebody worthwhile writing and directing it. I'm, I'm down. I'll go see it. I just won't play the convoluted games. Uh, Gyllenhaal is producing this film and starring in it. I don't know uh, how much of the, his production is going to matter with the overall quality of the film. I just want it to be written well. I want it to actually matter. And I want I want more story than we got in the game. I want to see the actual uh, epidemic break out. I want to see. I want to care about the characters. Because honestly in The Division you really don't care. But the bottom line of this story is more video game movies coming to the big screen. And more often than not they're going to suck and the reason these films always suck guys is because for the most part you can't live up to the hype of a video game you just really can't each video game feels different for each individual and if you really love a video game no movie is going to do it justice very few films will do that game justice i love the last of us i love the last of us so much it's one of my favorite games of all time and even though neil Druckmann is uh connected or tethered to the movie tie-in I feel like watching it on the screen is going to diminish that experience because now you got real actors, tangible people playing these certain roles, which negate or remove part of the original aspect of the game. Now those characters you played in the game somehow don't feel as real, or maybe the characters in the film don't feel real. So it's really hard at that point for you to, uh, you know, cross that barrier. And have the same kind of experience. Sometimes it just doesn't blend well. Uh, I wish Ubisoft all the luck in the world with their their big screen endeavors. You know they got some great franchises. They've got some great IPs. Whether or not it's going to translate well on film will all depend on what we think when we see it in the theaters. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Do you think these films are going to be successful? Which of these films do you think has the potential to actually be really successful. I think The Division has a possibility. I, I, I think Gyllenhaal is a great actor. Uh, I think Assassin's Creed honestly looks pretty good. Uh, and as far as Splinter Cell, like I said, Tom Hardy is the fucking man. 
I think that would probably be the one I'd be interested in seeing the most if it actually happens. You guys let me know what you think. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Guys, show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. We're over 3,000 strong and growing every day, every day. Can I get an amen? I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take off.